Hello everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. Speaking of travel, we are here in Los Angeles. We're in California. Um, we're actually in the Santa Monica area. I've never actually stayed in this area, but we are here y'all and i'm very excited about it i'm here to shoot the fall 2021 collection with sanji we have some amazing pieces for you all everything is size inclusive i believe we have six or seven pieces kind of building on the same pieces we've had throughout the last I guess year that we have been putting out collections together it's gonna be amazing you guys are gonna see behind the scenes of getting everything shot so you all will be able to see some behind the scenes of our collection and I believe our collection is going to come out this Friday on October 22nd so mark your calendars ladies and gentlemen I know we have a few gentlemen who love our pieces as well. I mean, a lot of our pieces are gender fluid, so if you if you like it, we love it, okay? We do ship international. I get a lot of questions about shipping internationally, yes. And everything in this collection will be size inclusive and go up to, I believe, a 3XL or maybe even a 4XL. So I am here at the Santa Monica Proper Hotel. This is a dream come true, you guys. I have always wanted to stay in this hotel. It's like an Instagram dream. And we will be shooting our collection here. We feel like it really embodies fall. Very excited to be here. I hopped a plane this morning from Miami. You would have already, I believe, watched that vlog previously. So we are gonna have an amazing time. So I flew in earlier today and came to the hotel. The hotel is absolutely stunning. If you have never seen it on Instagram, maybe you don't have an Instagram, Santa Monica proper, I think it opened last year, I wanna say, but so many boss babes that I know and love stay here and like, I've just wanted to stay here because influence is real, y'all. You walk in, it's stunning, it's lots of taupes, lots of browns, lots of whites, lots of marble, lots of texture, like everything is all about texture. It was designed by Kelly Wurstler. Uh, the lobby downstairs is just stunning. All of the beautiful, gorgeous chairs and statues and foliage. And then they you have like this beautiful kind of lobby area where it's also like a restaurant and a bar and a library. They have these plush couches that line the walls. So many different kinds of chairs and leathers and just every fabric you can possibly imagine. It's just absolutely stunning down there. Lots of little corners and nooks that you can just read, relax eat there is a restaurant down there as well i forgot the name of it so after checking that out because i had to stop and take mad videos and, and photos for you guys i came up to the rooftop for lunch at their restaurant my room wasn't ready yet and so i went up to the rooftop restaurant they have a pool up there it's really nice and again this just the decor up there is absolutely stunning i ended up getting a burger the proper burger with a pickle, so good. I got the black charred broccolini. Ugh, I don't know what kind of sauce they put on that, but y'all, it was delicious. I also got an acai berry smoothie, and I had some water, and I just sat out in the sun with my brand new Gucci bag and my phone and scrolling through the Instagram and just enjoying the sun on my back because I feel like I didn't get enough of that when I was in Miami. Maybe I, maybe I did get enough. But I can always use some more sun. Definitely one of the best burgers I've ever had. <laughs> Everything was absolutely delicious. The cool thing about staying here is they usually give you a dining credit every day you're here. I think my dining credit is $60 a day. So I literally don't even have to pay for a meal or two every day. Like it's just kind of free, which is wonderful. Once my room was ready, I came on up and uh, you guys, I have a, I believe, deluxe king balcony room. It's one of the more affordable rooms under $500 a night. You walk in 
and it's just heaven. Do you see these walls? Do you see this, the texture? Incredible. So once you walk in to your left, you have this stunning, huge, all marble bathroom, which is incredible. They have amazing bath products. Of course, a waterfall shower. You guys, they have parachute home robes. And y'all know how I feel about parachute home because I have parachute home robes at home. They're so cozy and soft. They're that wafted like cotton. I will link these down below because they're amazing. They're pricey. I have one in gray, but now I feel like I need one in white. Mm. The sink is really beautiful. Lots of like round orb lights. They also have a little magnifying light, which is great for when you're doing your makeup. Just a beautiful bathroom. You come out of the bathroom, there's a huge full length mirror. They knew what they was doing when they designed this place because you definitely need a full length mirror, especially if you're a fashion girl. Like I don't want to just see from the waist up. Like I need to see how the whole outfit looks. You walk into the room. It's spacious the bed is huge the headboard is stunning the texture on the pillows is chef's kiss i mean they have beautiful proper water bottles with these cool little glasses next to the bed so nice of course they have ample space for storage you open one little like mirrored closet and there's an espresso machine in there there is a little refrigerator a little bar a1 you open the other side and there's ample room for like your clothes and your suitcase and such they also give you a steamer which is great because a lot of places all they have are irons and sometimes you don't want to use an iron on your delicate clothes so a steamer is amazing all right guys so here is my look of the day wearing my louis vuitton earrings this bodysuit is from skin this is old and sold out but skims does make similar ones so i'll link those the jacket is and other stories i believe this is sold out as well but i will link similars down below i've actually found a few the jeans are margella you've seen me wear these in miami and the boots are old celine no longer made but they have some similar ones at asos that i'll link below so that's the look it's actually quite cold here like after the sun goes down it's freezing so i knew to bring a coat because i believe like the last time i was here this time of year it was cold and i probably need to buy some sweaters and stuff too for the bag i put all of my bags in here you can see them down there i think i'm gonna go with the fendi one because that's just probably the easiest one to carry and it kind of goes with my outfit and my crossbody strap is in here, so that's great. There's so many compartments in here. I think I put my fragrances in here. I'm gonna go with Jo Malone, wood, sage, and sea salt, which I love. Little wood, sage, sea salt. Oh, it smells so good. I went ahead and put the strap on my Fendi baguette. I don't really ever use this strap because I usually carry this as like a night bag, but I need my hands today, y'all. So we are gonna wear the crossbody strap. All right. Perfect. Gonna head down, call an Uber, and let's go i also always bring my own nail polish wherever i go i'm a little bit ocd but if you've been watching me you already know that because just think about it do they really clean the bristles after like putting it on someone else's toes do they really i don't know i don't think they can sanitize that good enough so, so i always bring my own and i have been wearing this brown polish from zara it is so good you guys it's called um zara power and it's a beautiful beautiful chocolate brown perfect for fall if you didn't know that zara has a beauty section now with makeup and lipsticks and stuff now you know go to your local zara check it out
Hey y'all. So I just got back from a nice little window shop. You guys are too tall for me. Let me bring you down a bit. Yeah. So I just got back from a little bit of window shopping on Rodeo Drive. I tried to get into Bottega, but I was too late. So I'll try and go again Thursday. I did go into Gucci and tried to get <laughs> this bag. The sh I think it's the Shield bag from the Area Collection. I put my name down to get one. We gon' we gonna see y'all. We gonna see. I tried to get one in Miami. It didn't quite work. I got so many compliments on my outfit today too. That's nice. So I went in Gucci. I went into Saks because Saks actually closes at seven and all of like the other boutique shops and luxury shops on Rodeo Drive close at six. And so I went into Saks. The Saks Fifth Avenue close to Rodeo Drive is incredible. Like the shoe department is bananas. They always have such good selection of shoes, like literally everything your heart desires. So I went and I checked out the shoe section. I didn't really see anything that tickled my fancy. I did see these really cute green Balenciaga sandals, but I'm trying to wait until the Bottega green spiral sandals come out because I really want those. So I'm gonna wait on those. But it was a good trip. I pretty much went to every floor in Saks. I love how they merchandise that Saks. It's so curated really, really well. I looked at a, a lot of stuff. They have an amazing bathroom in there too. So not very successful shopping day, but I got to see what's kind of out there, which is good. I did not make it to the nail salon. So I'm gonna have to try and go in the morning or I'm just gonna have Sanji bring over some nail polish remover and I'll do them myself. Oh, the thing is, I'm super tired. It is about seven o'clock at here, but I'm still on East Coast time. So it feels like 10 to me. And I also still have a little bit of work I need to do. I need to send in some photos for to be included in tomorrow's YouTube video, which is a spend the day with me vlog in collaboration with Saks Fifth, Saks Off Fifth Avenue. And then what else do I need to do? I need to upload some analytics for a campaign I did with a brand. So I need to do all of that right now. I'm not starving, but I should eat something. So I only ate once today. So I have the menu here. Luckily, they serve room service until 10. Everything looks so good. They have spicy rigatoni ala vodka. Oh, and you can get it with a uh, shrimp, salmon, or a chicken. That sounds really good. I'm also loving the sea bass. And they have steak frites. Mm. Oh, they have a crispy chicken sandwich. Ooh, and a proper Caesar salad. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna call room service and I'm gonna order some dinner and I'm gonna have like a working dinner. It shouldn't take me about, it should only take me about mm, half an hour to an hour to do the things that I need to do. And then I'm going to wash off this face. I might probably will take another shower because I just love taking showers in hotels because they're always just, the pressure is amazing. You have this beautiful waterfall shower. Um, and then I'm gonna call it a night because Sanji's coming over in the morning at, I think 10. So we can kind of, I can try on everything. I haven't tried on anything yet. So I need to do a try on. And then we need to kind of sort out how we're gonna shoot everything. Like what are we shooting together? What are we shooting apart? Where are we shooting these things? And then we're actually gonna start shooting at 12 with my girl Kay. I've known Kay forever, but she moved out here a few years ago to like pursue her photography and she's been killing it out here. So really happy for her. I wonder if I can order a cocktail for room service because your girl can use a drink. All right, you guys, I will check back in when my food is here. I'm nice and cozy in my night clothes and yeah, see you soon. Yeah. 
I would like to order some room service, please. Um, can I have the spicy rigatoni alabaca with shrimp? That'll be all. Okay, thank you. Um, I would like the, uh, where'd it go? Oh, the proper waffles. Um, is there any way I can get a side of the smoked bacon? Um, pork is fine. Um, and then 
Is there any way I could get a side of scrambled eggs or no? Because I don't see that anywhere on the menu. Okay, and then um, may I also have an acai berry smoothie? And an Americano with uh, cream and sugar on the side, please. Oh no. Okay, great, thank you. You too. have been up <laughs> pretty early working on getting the Miami vlog together for you guys very calming soothing morning watching the sunrise making myself a coffee I'm really glad that they have an espresso machine in here and it was just beautiful I actually get eastern exposure so I could watch the sunrise and it's just so lovely I ordered some room service Today we are going to be shooting the Something by Sanji Monroe Steel fall collection. So you'll get some behind the scenes of that. But I ordered some breakfast. I got some scrambled eggs here. I have an acai smoothie. This is going to be great. Some coffee, some bacon, and waffles. So I'm going to set myself up here so that I can have a working breakfast because Sanji will be arriving in about two hours. Um, and I want to just, you know, get myself together, get my shoes out, get the jewelry out so that we can have a productive shoot day. of a concept of like because the collection is named after you know boss women that we could this could kind of be like a girl's trip or something like that with me and you let's some, take some of the best like in the room yeah like we're coming to the proper we're we're dining we're we're relaxing we're we're kikiing and just mm -hmm. kind of make it like a story. We could do like a little video mm -hmm. and do like a reel like that, like showing mm -hmm. us, I can even carry like one of my little 
uh, St. Laurent bags and me and you mm -hmm. can be in one outfit and we're like coming into the property and you can see mm -hmm. the sign and you know like that and mm -hmm. then sitting and having a drink and maybe we can go up to the roof and get food and stay in mm -hmm. that one of the outfits but I think that would be cute because it's like we're selling not just the clothes we're selling the it's the lifestyle it's exactly we're selling the vibes Whew. All right, guys. It's time. It's time. Look came, at there. I came dressed in, in, in old <laughs> old collab to get in the mood for new collab. Period. Um, Period. So this video is gonna go live the Wednesday before the collection drops. So they're gonna get a sneak, a sneaky peek. A sneak, a sneak. Not a sneak peek. They just gonna see. <laughs> this is what it is, guys. It's here. It's here. Look. We at these the fall colors and mm, textures. Get into the texture. It feels so, everything feels so good. We got the turtles. We got the dresses. We got the sets. We got to give y'all a set. I know y'all love a good set. Another dress because y'all love a dress. And a pant. And we got to give y'all a paperback pant. Which couldn't. Look at this. Get into it. It's the pinstripe for me and the blue on the inside for me, and the denim pocket on the back for me, and everything for me. All right, I have to get ready. I need to do my makeup, and I actually have to try these things on. And we gotta figure out where we, what we're gonna wear, what we're gonna shoot, so stay tuned. And I was like, where are these seals coming from? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's going on? I was like, something, something happened today? I'm like, today's an abnormally high sale day. Oh, um, that's horrible. And that happened like a few times, just like naturally. So then when she reached out to me like, I was thinking about like, like, how would you feel about a collab? And I was like, it just seemed like the when most you, natural. Was this? this was during the pandemic. Last, last year? Last year around this time. For her, you just saw her stuff? I don't know. I feel like, well, we also kind of have slightly mutual friends-ish kind of yeah. like, you know, Instagram world's so small. Like I found out through you. I mean, like I watched you when you were on Project Runway. Yeah, I didn't. But I feel you like you never told me that. I didn't know that. I, I told you that every single time. You never told me that. That's the way I know to you too. You never like, told me that. <laughs> I was a fan. <laughs> but and like I was following you on Instagram, but also I feel like Vanna was wearing a lot of your stuff too, and I was like, oh yeah, well, she has the paper pants. pants too. Yeah. This is Kay. She'll be shooting the collection. We trying to keep it black. All, all black, way. all black all everything. Black. Her. How does this look? We wear a little, just put it around your head and then down your body. And then you just kind of like. Don't it's cute, I love it. I do too, I was like, I like it. On the fence, but now I'm like, I'm here for Okay, that. we see what she's supposed to do. And then you can kind of adjust it, people, however you want to wear it. Period. You could go without it if you like. But it's, I don't feel like it's oh, necessary. Yeah. You're not playing the break? Yeah, I was just like. No. <laughs> but it does work, right? Yeah. Got our props, guys. No lipsticks. And she's mad because I have on platforms and I'm a giant. And she's all the way down there. We're the same height! <laughs> all right.
Green. <laughs> it's the facial expression. <laughs> no, for real. Like the way that they just. She get on my nerves. I know was the older sister. <laughs> <laughs> you wrapped my hair in there, girl. I know. And now I can't move my head, but only this much. Don't move. We ain't gotta go nowhere. Come on, oh This hurts. You're so dramatic. <laughs> I'm tender headed. Wow, you tied that yeah, booty's booty. so tight. The booty's booty. Why'd right? you tie that so tight? You like push on my um. Right. I or guess. I guess I, I, I guess I don't need to breathe. Breathing. <laughs> like, breathing, is breathing is overrated. Okay, mm -hmm. just you know. Yeah, I'm gonna go over this Please, because you see how I see. Breathing is for a chunk. guys so we just wrapped the shoot of the collection you would have seen a ton of behind the scenes we have six pieces total we have two dresses a wine color dress and a navy dress we have a, a set which is a gray set it's so good can you like show a, them well they've seen it already oh, so good. <laughs> and then what else we have of course, a paper bag pant, but it's more tapered leg. We have a beautiful turtleneck with a really cool detailing that we feature throughout the collection. We hold- And the beret. Oh, and the beret that also matches the, the pinstripe paper bag waist pant. We hope you guys love it. Make sure to head on over to somethingbysanji.com. Sign up for the newsletter. The collection is gonna drop on Friday. Everything is size inclusive. I mean, look at this materials it's the materials it's, for me everything is so soft. it's like very cozy kind of fuzzy soft wears very well super cozy and comfortable both of the dresses are really soft you're gonna love them very forgiving too both mm -hmm. both dresses and the set very happy to be done only now took us <laughs> only took us three hours and then we're gonna go eat so we're gonna go to the rooftop and get some a late lunch
guys so i'm back in the room sanji and i just had lunch on the rooftop at the rooftop restaurant um again i got the burger <laughs> because it's so good we also got some fries with this really good like green i think avocado sauce and that was delicious and sanji got the mussels and they were really good as well we both had french 75s and she just left i'm gonna clean up the room a bit and now i'm just gonna hop in the shower and chill it's been a really long day of shooting and i just want to relax i think tomorrow i'm gonna do a little shopping because i didn't really buy anything well i didn't buy anything when i shopped yesterday i just did a lot of window shopping and i'll take you guys with me but i think this might be it for today and i will check back in with you guys tomorrow if you are enjoying the video thus far, please do give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And don't forget, this collection is dropping on Friday. You don't wanna miss it, size inclusive. We go up to a 3XL and everything. Can't wait for you guys to shop. Oh, also, if you're not following me on Instagram, we're posting videos and photos of the merchandise throughout this whole week. So definitely head over to at Monroe Steel on Instagram or something by Sanjia and check out the things we've been posting so far so that you can see how the clothes move, how you can wear them, how you can style them. Thank you guys in advance because I know y'all are gonna sell the collection out the same way you guys did the spring summer collection and the fall winter collection of 2020. All right guys, check in with you tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is Thursday. I think it's my third day here in Santa Monica. I woke up this morning, watched the sunrise. It's always beautiful here in LA. The sunsets are great here too. Took a shower, put on this parachute home robe, which is super comfy. Made myself an espresso. And then I ordered myself some breakfast. I actually got breakfast burrito, which was pretty good. And the matcha smoothie. You guys, the matcha smoothies here are literally like the best I've ever had. <laughs> okay, like in life. I just put on some sunblock because I don't think I'm gonna wear makeup using Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, which is really good. I booked myself for a massage at a place not too far away. I actually use the Class Pass app. If you've watched a ton of my Miami vlogs and I actually lived in Miami anytime between February 2021 and June 2021, you guys know that I use the Class Pass app to find, you know, places I can get my nails done, to get facials, to get to go and do like Pilates and health classes and get massages. And so they have the same service here as well. So I found a place where I can get a massage, like a 75 minute massage for only 25 points. And right now I have 160 points, so it's, it's free. I really just have to pay the tip. So it's pretty close. I am going to put on the Something by Sanji Monroe Steel super cozy knit two-piece set that will co be coming out on Friday. I feel like I just wanna be wear something cozy and comfortable. I'm gonna walk around the Santa Monica Pier a little bit too, cause I've never been down there. So I wanna see and take you guys with me and then we'll get my massage. 
after that i think we'll come back here get ourselves together and maybe go do some shopping so so far loving it here really ready for my massage because i've just been feeling so tense like I've been working kind of non-stop. All right, so I'm gonna get ready. I'll show you guys my fit and then we'll head down. It's within walking distance, so happy about that. Oh, I love these braids so much. All right guys, so this is today's fit, at least for the morning. It is this ribbed heather gray off the shoulder kind of boat neck a two-piece set it has this little piece here that you can tie a bunch of different ways like off to the side in the front you can even pull it to the back and tie a little bow to make it more tight i actually think i like that look so much you could do with this you can even kind of tie it around if you want to be a little edgy this set comes from a small all the way to a 3xl super cozy and comfortable like i wish you guys could feel it it's almost a little bit fuzzy uh it's so comfy hits you about here so it comes with these matching leggings this has an elastic waist it has a little band here too these are the same material super soft and kind of fuzzy great for fall and winter you can even wear these under jeans when it's super super cold and i love that they have this little detailing here this little split which is really cool you can show off your footwear but absolutely love this set you can wear it all the way off the shoulder on the shoulder just a little vibe for me to go walk the boardwalk and get my massage so gonna put on my chanel dad sandals i'll link these down below you can probably find them at resellers like fashion file but these are super comfy and plus i'm doing a little bit of walking so i'm gonna pop these on what time is it okay it's 10 o'clock so i have an hour which is good because i want to kind of walk around for an hour see where i want to shop and what i want to do get my massage come back here and shower i always have to shower after a massage because they usually use all kinds of oils and then you're just all like slick <laughs> so i'm gonna come back after my massage and take a shower and then change and then head out to do some shopping let's pick a scent for today i'm feeling very easy breezy today so i'm gonna wear a joe malone wood sage and sea salt which just reminds me of the beach it reminds me of a sunny day at the beach all right, I want to grab my sunnies, a pair of black ones. These are the Celine dupes from And Other Stories. I have them in white, I have them in this color, and I have the tortoise brown. They get the job done. Since I'm makeupless, I don't want to look too nuts, so sunglasses it is. The sun is actually beaming right now, so that works. I don't really have anything to match what I'm wearing, which kind of sucks. So, I guess we'll just carry this Fendi. All right. Let me check the battery on you. You're good. I'm going to pack you guys up. We're going to walk down to the strip, I guess is what they call it. Check it out before heading to get our massage. Let me make sure. I have enough juice i do wonderful headphones are in here keys are in here need a mask got my mask and let's go remember our uh something by saji monroe still collection drops friday october 22nd which should be in like two days the collection will drop at 12 p.m eastern standard time new york time florida time and it will drop at 9 a.m pacific daylight time i think it's pdt or pst i think it's pst if you're actually in california but if you're referring to west coast time it's pdt all right guys so let's i need some chapstick i wanted to give you a better look at the fit All right, let's go.
guys so i got back from my massage i actually ended up taking a bike i haven't ridden a bike in like two or three years it took some getting used to but here at um santa monica proper you can have a bike complimentary so i just got a little beach cruiser and rode my bike seven blocks to ocean drive to santa the santa monica pier it was great like I had so much fun riding that bike, seeing the site, seeing the boardwalk with all of the rides and it just looks so beautiful. I used to think that I didn't like LA, but I think I just didn't like it because I wasn't close to the water. I always stay kind of more in downtown LA or Koreatown and I never even came over to the water before. I like it in Santa Monica area. Like I like it a lot. It reminds me a lot of Miami. It's very chill. Found a nice place that I can visit every time I come to LA to get these collections together. And then I ended up going to this place to get a massage. You guys, this massage was, wow. I mean, he really got in there. I'm like kind of oily. He did wipe me off, but still. And I did a hot stone massage as well. And he went really deep. I have a feeling I'm gonna be bruised tomorrow because I bruise very easily but like I really needed him to like knead out all of these knots and such that I have in my neck and in my lower back and he got it together. I just worked for about two hours. I got a vlog up for you guys. It is the spend the week in NYC with me vlog where oh my god I'm looking out the window and there's a guy peeing into a corner. Obviously, he doesn't know that someone's up here, but yeah, it's just like New York. <laughs> so I just got this vlog up. It's the daily vlog, fashion haul, luxury bag unboxing, and new hairstyle vlog. Um, it's a day late. Normally, I post on Wednesdays, but the brand didn't get back to me in time. So I had to wait until they approved the video. Um, and they didn't get back to me until today so if anytime i don't post please check my community board i will let you guys know if i'm posting or not that day sometimes it just doesn't happen life happens things happen you know i i really try and stay on schedule because i know you guys really love the videos and you look forward to them and i look forward to you watching them but sometimes just things don't work out again it's just me i'm just one person this is not like a syndicated network or anything but thank you to everyone who is very understanding of that i got that video up for you guys finishing up my matcha it's about 2 30 i'm gonna take a shower because you know he's been rubbing all over me and i need to wash that off i'm gonna change until Probably one of the dresses, Mia Sanji's collection that's dropping on Friday. I'm just gonna walk over to the Third Street Promenade, check out the shops and probably grab some kind of lunch there. So I will check back in once I'm showered and ready to go check out the Third, is it Third Street or Third Avenue Promenade? It's only like four blocks away, so yeah. Alright guys, so I showered and got myself together. I put on this dress from Sanji and my fall collection that comes out on Friday. Like, look at that material. Again, the same cozy soft knit. This is like a boat neck, off the shoulder, bat wing top. Again, it has that same design. It has this little wrap here that you can tie around like so. It's connected, so it's a ton of different ways that you can tie this to suit you. And that's something we wanted to do throughout the collection. Just cute little details like that. I like wrapping it around twice and then tying it in a little bow to the side so it just hangs or really cinches in my waist. And I love it. There's literally everything. There is a little slit in the back. Let me see if I can stand on the bed. So you guys can see. So there is a little slit in the back. And it's a beautiful wine color, berry color, perfect for fall. The lip I'm wearing again is Fenty Unveil. I love that lip. We're gonna go with some Baccarat Rouge 540. Okay, and I think I'm going to wear my 
Chanel dad sandals with this because I'm doing some walking. And also, these sandals do have a little bit of purple in them. So they match a little bit with this. I'm gonna take the same bag I had earlier. I need a crossbody, so if I'm gonna be shopping or anything, my hands are free. I wish I would've brought my black, like plain Gucci bag, and I almost did, but I forgot. The little black bag will go with everything. All right, so that's my look. Have my bag here. I'm gonna pop you guys in here. And we're gonna just go walk to the promenade and see what we can see. And then we'll probably go to dinner here at the hotel rooftop. Or maybe the one downstairs. I don't know yet. I want some sushi for sure. And then I'm gonna close out the vlog because tomorrow I have a 6 a.m. flight back to New York. The day after that, I am speaking on a panel with Create and Cultivate. I need to prepare for that, which is why I'm taking the earliest flight so I can get back into New York at like 2.30ish. So I can be home by four and then I can get my life together. All right, let's go. Hi guys, so I'm back from the promenade on 3rd Avenue. 
um, I just walked along. They have so many like stores, everything is so cute, so many different little restaurants and things. Um, it was really nice to just like walk along and check it out. It's actually not too cold. I feel like after about four o'clock here, it's winter time, okay? From 12 to like two is summer and before 12 it's winter. So the weather here like, it's pretty much how New York is all the time when it's transitioning from summer to fall. So I walked along, I stopped off at Starbucks to get a pumpkin spice latte. I'm basic y'all. Sometimes we basic, like I needed to warm up a bit. And then I walked over to the mall. They have a mall here and there. They have like a Louis Vuitton. They have a Nordstrom. And then they have a few regular stores like H&M Forever 21. I did go into Nordstrom and looked at a few things, didn't end up buying anything. And then I went to Free People and I got some sunglasses. I'll show you what I got. I've been wanting some new sunglasses and I figured why not? I saw these and they very much remind me of like the Loewe sunglasses. And I've been wanting some that are just kind of brown since I've been wearing a lot more cool tones, a lot more browns. And I also like that Free People sunglasses are pretty affordable. I mean, 25 bucks isn't bad. The ones I had on earlier from And Other Stories are $30 and I've had them for like two years. So these are the ones I got from Free People. They are definitely giving me Loewe vibes. I love the clear tint. I love the side. I love this. I love that gradient. Very kind of, I don't know, 70s vibes. To me these are great and they were only um 25 dollars and they also come in like a gradient pink and a gradient black i think these are online so i will link them down below in case you're interested but i just thought that these would be a great pair of sunglasses for fall since i'm wearing more browns more nudes more neutrals um these will go with everything and you'll be able to kind of see my eye makeup too which i like so that's the first pair i will link these down below um, and then I got these because I've been loving green. You all have seen those green Stuart Weitzman knee-high suede boots. And I think the previous vlog, maybe like two or three vlogs, I've shown you guys those boots. And so I wanted some green sunglasses. Green is actually my one of my favorite colors. So I wanted some green sunglasses. I think green is a great color for fall. And so the rim is green. They have this little gold bar up here. The gradient is green. And then this is gold. 25 bucks, like they look so much more expensive. So I'll link these down below as well. And again, I think these come in like yellow and like a maroon color. I didn't like those too much, but these are giving. They're giving everything they need to give. And that's all I bought. I wanted something very light. So actually what I'm about to do, so I'm gonna pack right now, and then I'm gonna probably keep this dress on, but I'm gonna jazz it up a bit. Gonna put on some heels, some earrings, and then I think, am I, I don't know where, where I'm gonna go for dinner. I think I'm gonna go to the rooftop because I really want sushi. I'm not gonna make y'all watch me pack, but I'm gonna check back in when it's time to eat. On that beat, going crazy.